can I hear a hallelujah on the outside? Glory to God. The people of the Lord is in his house. And as I'm here, I'd like to greet our overseer, overseer Brown and his wife, Elder Ferry and her wife, and all you, my brethren, in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. As we're here, we'd like to start our praise and worship. And I'll just ask that those who are in the congregation that will please stand. We do not want to be pressed for time. And so we'd like to get started as quickly as as possible. At this point in time, I'll ask that you put yourself in a mind of worship. I'd like you to keep quiet now. We are in the house of the Lord and we are ready to lift up some praises to our God because he is truly worthy to be praised. If it was not for him, it could not have been for him, we would not be in his house, we would not be breathing breath uh, this evening. But we are here to give him praise, to give him glory, and to give him honor. Welcome into this place. Welcome into this place.
then the blessings will come down. At this time, we'll sing from our shout his praise. The mighty God is Jesus 59. Hallelujah. The mighty God is Jesus. 59. It's a long way, Lord. God is Jesus, the Prince of Peace is He, the everlasting Father, the King Eternal He, the Wonderful in Wisdom, that all things are made, the fullness of the Godhead, in Jesus is His name, it's all in Him, it's all in Him.
to God. You're worthy to be praised. I will enter in his gates with thanksgiving in my heart.
chapter 14 verses 25 to 35 and first corinthians chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 if you are in the house and you are able to stand could you be kind enough to stand in the presence of the lord for the reading of his word hallelujah saint luke chapter 14 and I'll start at verse 25 to 35. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitting not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest haply after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first and consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth a, an, an ambassador, sorry, and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you, that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And First Corinthians chapter 4, verse, verses 1 and 2. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ 
and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. This is the word of the Lord. And to be found faithful, we must go. To be found faithful, we must give. To be found faithful, we must grow. To be found faithful, we must be on guard. And to be found faithful, we must glorify. There's only one thing that produces faithfulness on the order that God requires. Genius is not the building block of faithfulness, nor is the gift of amiability. God only builds on character pristine character and sterling integrity this is the word of the lord are we still in the house of the lord yes we are this time i'll invite pastor blake to invite the presence of the lord with us this evening Stand if you can. Praise his wonderful name. And since he bids me seek his face, believe his words and trust his grace, I cast on him my every care and wait for thee, sweet hour of prayer. Our Father, our great God, creator of heaven and earth, you said, Let there be light and there was light. We thank you for the gain of ourselves tonight as we come in thine house to worship and adore your great name, God Almighty. Cover us with your anointing, with your blood. Oh, take over full control. Bless this service super abundantly, God Almighty. Help us to be all on one accord, God Almighty. I will curse every dark cloud that hang low and every seducing spirits and demons. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And unite us together in oneness. Have your own sweet will and way. Oh, God, bless our Bishop, Bishop Scott, O oh God and all your minister and servant tonight, direct this service, hallelujah, God Almighty. And let your perfect will be done. Save for your coming, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, save for your coming, O oh glory to God. And take over now. And what every, everything that should be said and done tonight, let it be done to the honor and glory of your name. We pray and ask these mercies in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Blake. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Our presiding prelate, Bishop Agri Scott, Bishop elect. Virginal Mary and Lady Mary, Pastor Ezekiel Blake and Missionary Blake, Overseer S. Coffrey Brown and Lady Brown, Elder Fair and Lady Fair, other officers on the forum and in the congregation and online. Brethren, friends, well-wishers, welcome to the house of the Lord. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Feel free in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We're moving up a little higher, aren't we? Amen, amen. And in the house we have tonight with us One Way Apostolic Church. Where are you? Can we hear a hallelujah? Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Big, big Woods New Testament. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah with them, with her? Amen. I'm not hearing you. Can I hear a shout of hallelujah in the house? Yes, we are still in the house of the Lord, and he deserves our praises. Amen? Amen. 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 We have Santa Cruz Pentecostal. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have Bethel Town Apostolic. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We have saints from Retrieve Apostolic. Hallelujah. We have Queen Street. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have Clements Park Apostolic. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We have Natalie Williams. 
Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah with her? Hallelujah. hallelujah. We have Abram's apostolic. Where are you, Abram's, on the outside? Can we say hallelujah for Abram's? Hallelujah. hallelujah. We have Spring Gardens Shiloh Apostolic Church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have Nightingale Apostolic. Can we hear the Nightingale Apostolic? Can we say hallelujah with Nightingale Apostolic? Hallelujah. We have Karen Wallace. Hallelujah. We have Agape International Church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have Barbie Hall Assembly of God. Hallelujah. Can we help him? Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. We have Church of the Living God, Seventh Day. Hallelujah. We have Elam Shiloh Apostolic. Hallelujah. We have the youth president from All Saints Apostolic Spanish Town. Hallelujah. And we have Pastor Dylan Smith and Saints from Flaring Sword, Word of Jesus, sorry, Flaming Sword Church of Jesus Christ in Westmoreland. Hallelujah. We have District Elder Beckford from Bunkers Hill Apostolic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are moving up a little higher. Amen. 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 Samaritan Apostolic. Hallelujah. Any other in the house tonight we haven't recognized us yet? Just let us stand and say hallelujah. Let us stand in the house. And shall be a house of prayer and praise. not in vain. Again, I welcome you to the house of the Lord. I welcome you to the presence of the Lord. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. At this time, we'll take greetings from Bishop Elect Myrie at this time. And everyone lift their hands and give the Lord a praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Give the Lord a praise in the house. Can we just jump up to a privilege and give the Lord a praise in the house? He is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun and to the going down, we want to give God thanks for his 
awesome blessing tonight. Amen. As we come together in this fashion to lift up his name and to exalt him who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Certainly I want to give God special thanks for his holy angels that he allowed to encamp it around us the believers that fear him the Lord. Give God thanks for presiding Bishop Agriscott of the International Apostolic Ministry. Put your hand together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I certainly want to give God thanks for Ella Blake and his wife. And uh, Amen. Praise <laughs> the Lord. All the other pastors and evangelist missionaries. Amen. And God bless for elect uh, overseer Brown. Praise the Lord. To, and his wife. Praise the Lord. Who will be taking up this mantle. Amen. Praise the Lord. To whom much is given, much is required and to just about everyone that are here tonight to god be the glory great things he has done and continue to do as we keep the fire burning in jesus name give god thanks to my wife and all those that journey with us to be here tonight god bless you richly in jesus name wonderful works to the children of men. I honor God tonight who is the head of my life. I thank him for the things he has given me Should want and what he has forfeited given to me and what he is about to give to me tonight. I'm blessed to be in your presence and I greet the host pastor, Pastor Blake, praise his name, outgoing, meritous, one who certainly I am acquainted with and his wife and also want to greet Bishop a man with vision, praise his name, doing something at the right time. Praise his name. Special greetings also to Bishop Mary and his wife. And I want to congratulate and greet also my friend and good friend, brother and colleague, pastor to be, Overseer Brown and his wife. God bless you, sir. It's a good thing to be here. Special greetings also to my wife, praise his name who come along with me, and to other ministers, I greet you in the same name of Jesus. To all God's people, may God bless us tonight as we worship together, and may the power and the anointing break the yoke. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you, Elder Fair. I know the time is far spent, and I know we know why we are here. Amen? Amen. So I'll get out of the way. In a few minutes, all right? Just saying, Overseer Brown, if you think you know the attack from the devil, you haven't seen any yet. Today is a significant day in your life and ministry. Tomorrow, I know we all know what tomorrow is. We remember Gilbert, right? Yes, yeah, September 12th. But that day, Overseer Brown, will be a most significant day in your life. A day you will remember. It's a day when you will begin to know the real value of prayer. You will begin to know the real value of being humble, of humility, of relationship with God, and more so of submission to God's will and purpose for your life. The devil will attack you from left right and center and so i encourage you i know bishop has his charge and he's coming with the charge to put on the whole armor but guess what you have heard the list of visitors who are here we are here for you and we are here to back you amen yes 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 and i know pastor blake is still here and lady blake is still here right and he he has seen many storms and he has many wise words and many wise counsel for you. And so when the devil comes, because he will come and he is coming, you will listen to those wise counsel. He'll also come to Pastor Blake with another attack from a different angle. But when he comes, Pastor Blake, we are also here for you. 
And we know you will give wise counsel to our young pastor. So we bless you, Overseer Brown and Lady Brown. We're not forgetting you. Behind every successful man, there is a successful woman. And so we're not leaving you out at, at all, Lady Brown. And so we encourage you with the word of the Lord. And at this time, I'll now invite our bishop to come to us. And before he comes, we'll stand and sing this song. Just the first verse and the chorus. Where he may lead me. everyone if you know that God is still good to you give him a praise out of your soul I love you Jesus I think you're awesome and magnificent I honor you with this little tribute of my soul my God I'm just amazed by you hallelujah my mind itches God to find words adequate to characterize your goodness to me for when I was nothing, you made me something. Thou art awesome. Lord Jesus, we endeavor to worship your excellency. To acknowledge your majesty. To give credence to your inapproachable, ineffableness. Lord, there is just no one like you. And we bow our heads down before you tonight. For when we were not a people, you chose us. And we just want to tell you how much we love you tonight, daddy. We magnify your name in our hearts. Come on, don't just piggyback on mine. Find your own. Find your own words. Find your own language right now. What you think about Jesus. He's more than good. He's wonderful. I thank you that my stomach is functioning normal. Thank you that my brain is operating right. Thou art wonderful, oh great God. You do miracles. You are great, Shataya. And even right now, Master, somebody is on your hit list. Somebody is on your movement in miraculous we magnify you tonight we know we came to acknowledge you and to give credence to your order in this place but we want to pause to exalt you for you have done great and marvelous things unto us let the people that know the name of their God articulate your own praise right now for about 30 seconds use your own words and magnify God if it is just hallelujah then just let it be. If you have a little more to say, then just say, go on and say it. Go on and magnify your daddy Jesus. Go on and lift him up.
above the king eternal immortal invisible the god only wise the inapproachable light he that dwelleth hallelujah no shi'i in the inapproachable light the one that speaketh unto us out of the secret place of thunder the who are girded with praise hallelujah and exalted above all diadems and crowns hallelujah all dominions and garrisons to be the only wise god let there be praise oh come on five more seconds your own words hallelujah yes lord you are great and excellent you are such a loving god you're such a merciful friend you are such an ever-present comforter shataya ah conquering lion of the tribe of judah the yahovah gibar our lord of wars our present help in the time of trouble our shield and de defender our bulwark our exceeding great reward hallelujah we magnify you tonight we exalt you tonight you're the lifter up of our countenance thou art the health of our countenance our God in whom we trust somebody step into the throne room right now and magnify your father whose name is Jesus
you feel satisfied. Shababasaka. your soul let go of yourself and let God ah! Rejoice, magnify the King of Kings, exalt the Lord of Lords, give due reverence to the Master of Assemblies, Yamashayaba, Ketoshata, Shia. For before the worlds were framed, he is God. Whilst the worlds were framed, he is God. While the world consists, he is God. And when this world shall cease to exist, he is God. The one that is able to heal you right where you are this day. The one that is able to lift you out of every pit. 
set you on a rock to stay. Elohim, Mato Yashia. His name is wonderful. And when we really get it in our spirit and really begin to magnify him, I said the flow will begin to occur in your soul. More than an emotion. Ah, yes, God, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, he's worthy to be praised. Those of you that are still standing, you may be seated. Tonight, we are here to witness the continuity of the gospel and the spirit of unity and apostolic succession. Dear Lord, thank you. We are here to participate in the acknowledgement of what God has already done, bearing witness to what God is doing now, and position ourselves to move with what God is going to do tomorrow. I don't hear the folks. We have sharpened up our swords, found the old shutter guns, oiled them up good, and are ready for battle. I heard you, Evangelist Mira. This means war. Mm. This is war, war, war. For Knox with Apostolic Church should have mash up long time. Should have been destroyed a long time ago. But here we are. For anything that God establishes must stand fast. Hallelujah. Um, please forgive me. We are going to get a little bit more didactic. However, before we do so, we had asked that you bring a very special token made out of dollars or pounds yen or bitcoin and you if you have some gold we'll take it too <laughs> we are helping to reset certain precedents and we are going to see to it that we honor them that labor among us. No matter how small that honor is, as it can come from you. The old prophet for whom I am now continuing by the will of God, he taught us that what is belonging to the house of God, God has put it in his people. So the blessing of the Lord need to arise from the coffers of the people. Uh -huh. don't allow anybody to come from anywhere else and take your yam hill can I get simpler don't let any person come with them your goat come take away your rami All right. need I get plainer when God clears a field and tell you to plant don't let anybody else come and plant you and you don't plant right that is why many people get blessed and keep getting blessed because they are smart. They come to good field and they put in some sowing and know that they can reap it anywhere in the world. For when you sow into the kingdom of God, amen, you reap wherever you are. You don't need to put in for transfer of funds and line up in a bank account. Amen. The bank of heaven knows where you are. I don't hear the folks. Wanna sound quiet in Jesus' name? I'm trying to be all bishopy. Hallelujah. But don't mistake the little jacket thing here. Amen. I'm just burning up here. The blood and the covenant in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna ask you to go in your tread bag, in your wallet, in your billfold. Amen. Go into your account on Cash App. Amen. And find your account. I don't know where on gimmify.com. Praise God. And you are going to take out a wonderful token of blessing in terms of 
money praise the lord amen i know we love to eat in jamaica but you can keep the yam praise the lord until the lord amen bring us down to only yam praise god but you can just carry the money tonight so we're gonna ask you at this time uh, amen in a, in a laughingly serious way amen to take something out of your pocket where it's going to really you're gonna feel it amen if you if you're not gonna feel it hallelujah dip deeper Amen. I mean, when you're going there, you must live by faith for the rest of the week. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Anybody on the praise team say amen to Bishop? Amen. Which part you say amen to? <laughs> the all of it? Very good. So, we are going to bless uh, Pastor Elect, uh, Pastor Designate. Amen. Overseer Scoffy Brown and Lady Chantal Brown and Little Princess Brown. Amen. With an offering, every cent, every dollar, every ounce shall go directly into their hands. And by the will of God, I am instructing them as their bishop that unless God appears to them, amen, and tell them to spend it on the church, they are not to spend it on the church. This one is for you. Is for you know you know do you get it all right brethren yes i i know what kind of apostolic people i'm talking to so amen i i am i am guilty of the same praise the lord so i'm telling you amen to go down in your pockets all of our churches amen nobody will be presenting it him to him directly we're going to put it in the common collection and then i'm going to take the liberty of blessing it in jesus name and then we are going to have it prepared and handed to pastor amen later on in the night praise god amen and nobody offer him a ride home tonight amen he is going to go home all by himself with sister chantal are you ready some of you have it in the front uh, left of the car right under the papers but when you get pulled over you have it right there go for that one in the name of jesus some of you that have it under where you keep the log tool. Mm -hmm. Go for it right now in Jesus' name. Some of you have it on the card. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I, I don't know if we walked with the card reader from Waterloo, but we, we didn't. And we soon get one down here if we don't have one already. Uh, praise the Lord. But we take promissory notes. And please know, amen, that I have a few conquer worms and palmer worms that are ready to go. If you do not bring what you say, you're going to give. And when I send them for you, brethren, they will not miss your address. And they'll start eat from the door. Amen? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise. Are you hearing what Bishop is saying tonight? You know what me I try to say, right? Amen. Don't say you're going to give and don't give. Amen? I'm going to send a, a, maybe a locust. He will come to the window. Amen. Malachi 3. Amen? God says, my great army. Anyway, could we all stand at this time? And we're going to bless god by blessing his servants tonight i'm gonna to ask the praise team to give us a song in fact i'm going to ask you just to lift up that money right now whatever it is you have just lift it up close your eyes everybody so stop fast lift up your offering don't crush it up don't don't crush it up just keep it nice and crisp the Bible says in Malachi that whenever we bring tithes and offerings into God's storehouse, we should prove him wherewith, herewith. In the Greek, it means to attach a conditional request to it. So when you're going to prove him, you're going to say, Daddy, I am, this is not tithes now. If you're giving your tithes, don't do it. You're giving your offering. So an offering is out of free will. So you're going to say, Daddy, I am sowing this. I am giving this unto your man's servant and your woman's servant. And Father, I have this need. Amen. Maybe you need your yams to bear. I don't know. Maybe you need your car to be repaired. Maybe you need your body to be healed in a particular way. Maybe you want to have a baby in Jesus' name. So you are going to put something to the money that you are giving us unto the Lord. This is in the Bible. This is no gimmick. And I'm not telling you anything I haven't seen operate over and over and over again. Now, get a clear picture of what you want in your mind. Hallelujah. You want a new roof. Put the roof in your mind. The color of the roof. Hallelujah. Shia. 
And you want your school fee to be paid in full before September 21st. Hallelujah. See the money right now, whether it's 50,000, 150, 183, 25, 400, 500, 1.7 million. Hallelujah. You have a set of debtors or creditors rather that you need to pay off and you're looking at 5.7 million Jamaican dollars. Hallelujah. You're going to receive in Jesus name. You're going to step up and say, daddy, I'm giving this and I'm asking you for this special blessing according to your word tonight. Lord God Almighty, we are going to do so. Heavenly Father, as you get that clear picture in your mind, we lift up this substance, Lord God, as a representation of our thoughtful kindness towards our brother and to our sister. And we are asking you in Jesus' name that you will prosper them, hallelujah, in what they are doing and what they are about to do. Oh God Almighty, that they will be blessed and highly favored, that they will be lifted and exalted in your kingdom for such a time as now. I ask in Jesus' name that you will anoint this offering God Almighty and let it answer a particular need in their life that they can look back and say oh we felt the love in cash and kind from our brethren on this night we thank you that we are able to do this we thank you for the willingness of our spirits and the ability of our financial coffers in Jesus name and we hallow you we are with tonight and bless you and let every glad giver and a happy contribution to say amen. amen one more time amen. amen and for good measure amen, amen. Over to the singers right now. We are going to ask the ushers to go to you because of the compactness of our service area and so we're going to ask you just to pass your offering uh, quickly in Jesus name. Praise and worship leaders in Jesus name. You may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances you can get through.
the Lord, amen, and give him thanks. For he has done marvelously, and he has done wonderfully, and of that we are ecstatic. Praise the Lord. Thank you, singers, musicians, everyone. Amen. I must greet and salute our pastor tonight, who will be shifting to being a daddy and a bank of wisdom and mother missionary and i'm speaking of no other person than pastor ezekiel blake and missionary mama blake i'm asking you to put your hands together for these two stalwarts visionaires god bleeders who have hazarded their lives their families their very ambitions they have somehow tailored to suit the call of God over this vicinity and over this church. They have bled, they have cried, they had suffered, they had smiled. They have raised up an apostolic heritage right here in Knoxwood, St. Elizabeth. Oh, we can clap a little better than that. I greet you both and salute you as stalwarts in the name of Jesus. Please accept greetings on the behalf of Missionary Scott as well. And the entire cauldron of I Am Family of Ministers. We greet and salute you in Jesus' name. We have journeyed from far. I see Pastor Forrester coming from a mighty long way just to be here and these other men and women of god that have served and labored with you are here to say great job and glad i'm a part of this i don't know if you are but i'm glad to be a part of this it's not very often you see something like this it's not very often i want to commend the pastors and those that i know are ministerial friends of overseer brown and lady brown and the knoxwood church family I want to salute you in Jesus' name in all your respective positions. Please accept greetings and salutations from me. Amen. John Maxwell, a well-known uh, international speaker and motivational writer, is known for a few bits of wisdom that he has garnered over the years and has shared. And one particular nugget of truth that I like from John Maxwell is this. The rise and the fall of everything rests on leadership. All right? Let it soak in. The rise and fall of everything rests on leadership. Put it another way. We are here because we have been led here. And we have followed here. So us being here is a direct function of having been led here. Led here. Okay? And so we followed. So the upliftment or destruction of really everything, your family, your home, your business, your school, your life, everything rests on leadership and when leadership is right followership will come let me tell you that leadership commands followership it don't demand it it commands it so if a leader a real leader goes to the middle of a desert and starts to work he is going to have a crowd in that desert after a while Oh, you better believe it. Oh, you can, oh Lord Jesus, you can put down, amen, everything you have on that. Leadership, excellent leadership, great leadership, God-given leadership commands fellowship. We are the proof of it. The reason why you are here is because you have been led here. And really, leadership is influence. And I won't get into those things, but leadership is influence. You have been influenced to come here. Yes. 
So it is important to safeguard leadership. It is very important to continue leadership. Mm -hmm. So tonight we are witnessing the passing of the baton of leadership from Pastor Ezekiel Blake to Overseer Brown because of what needs to occur, which is the continuity of leadership. Yes. We have to say these things, you know, we don't often get to say them. But it is on these moments that we get to platform these understandings. And amen. Dr. Austin is in here. He's a minister of the gospel of Jesus. And he is well experienced and versed in these things that I'm telling you. And any institution that follow good leadership principles, they are destined to survive the good times, the bad times, the ups and the downs. Because if you have excellent leadership, it's only a matter of following. <laughs> For if the leader is going in the right direction, you are going to end up there eventually. So what is the responsibility of the follower is to keep in trod with the leader. Now we have the best leader. The quintessential perfect leader. And his name is Jesus. I mean, this leader is off the wall. This dude is just out of this world, literally and metaphysically. My God, he is just beyond comparison. My, my, my head swell. My heart get tachycardic. My God, I feel all kind of something when I just think about it. Shato Sire. I just want to line up behind him and say, Ride on, King Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where you go, I want to go, Lord Jesus. Where you put it down, I'm gonna follow. All right, ah. Woo. man, I love him. Shia, nothing can take him by surprise because he's the omniscient Lord. Means he knows all things that can be known and ever will be known. If it is, if it exists or will exist or has exist, it has to come through him. I want to be under that kind of leadership because nothing takes us by surprise. Nothing falls outside the parameters of his wisdom. He is the all-knowing God. He is he's the, he's the very definition of wisdom. Lord, I love him. Nothing can outsource him because he is the singularity from which every other arity comes. Oh, I didn't come to preach. But our leader, hallelujah, nothing can outpower him because he is the source of power itself hallelujah if power has a root he is the origin of the root so he will never run out of power he will never run out of might he will never run out of capacity because he's just God like that so the Jesus that we serve nobody can surprise him and nothing can outpower him and nothing can outlast him and nothing can sequester him and and nothing can bombard him and nothing can stop him for he is the almighty the Lord God is his name mm -hmm. all right I'm going to be here so we have a leader of leaders he is the one that speaks the end from the beginning he is the beginning and the ending and everything in between that's why we were singing where he leaves me I will go for I have learned to <laughs> yes because he will never lead you into error he will never lead you into anything he can't lead you out of or sustain you in oh you're getting the picture I'm talking about the leader of leaders. He doesn't need to have counsel with any board or concrete or sheet rock or metal. I don't hear the folks. He doesn't need to sound off anybody and bounce off an idea because he is just the all complete God. When he need advice, he doesn't look to those from whom he 
in him he came oh God he looks within himself God is the only one that talked to himself and talked back in the mud hallelujah oh no no ready you know no just come to some like a normal service hallelujah this is not a normal service we are under the leadership of Jesus Woy, woy, woy. So every problem is meticulously arranged by the perfection of his wisdom and operates by the interpolation of his permissive will and our ability to act and choose. In other words, God gives us the ability to choose and him still have every choice covered. Hallelujah. All right. I'll go and behave. Somebody say, Bishop, behave. I'm talking about the leader of leaders. I'm talking about the one to whom pitch black is just as midday. I'm talking about the God that can see anything at every wavelength of light. I'm helping somebody feel tonight. <laughs> Guide me, oh, Jehovah, you through this battle. I am weak, thou art my. Hold me with thy power. Elijah hollering under a juniper tree weak after a battle of 850 wicked dead. Master God just wake him up and say, eat something, boy. Him take two bites and because him still in his sleep, him drop off again. Master juke him with the angel and say, take another mouthful, my youth. Elijah get up and say, yum, yum in the tum tum. And when it hit him in him rock and pinion, Elijah jump up like, ah, I don't know a gazelle. And when him take off, beep, beep, kapush, running for 40 days. And oh my God, don't watch TV, don't. You see flash? Oh God, what? I am weak, but... When God hits you with his power, huh, you operate at levels of energy that your natural physiognomy can't hold up. He's the leader of leaders. All right, all right, all right. Uh -huh. So this leader cannot fail. He will not because he cannot it will not happen because it is impossible i say in can feel whether you are in a ditch you're in a pit or you're in a dungeon he cannot fail so he is in charge he's at large and so he has given us a connection with him which is himself the Holy Spirit and he wants us to follow him mm -hmm. and if we follow him who is perfect we will walk not true when I move you move put your foot right there huh? So, so, so when he leads left, you lead left. When, when he duck, you duck. And when him he's back, you he's back. And when him says stop, you go brad ups. I don't hear the folks. When him say hold your peace, you hold your peace. When him say give a shout, you give a shout. When him say give a groan, you give a groan. Oh God. When him say bust three day fasting, you say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When the enemy come in like a flood, him says. Sit down, my boy. Let me show your power. 
hallelujah one time God get mad and send one angel to a city and 185,000 man dead in less than half of a night what if he went sent to angel oh Lord have mercy I'm talking about God like that you're running from two little half dead demon Mashiach a two little last doppy Marco Shabahaya and don't know you have power in your belly anointing upon your head like a crown Shako Sataya you have eyes like eagles you've got ears like dolphins oh Jesus hallelujah somebody says stretch out in me Jesus So, one angel, one of the bad man, them, you know. I don't hear the folks. I said, one of the angels, when him show up, hallelujah, demons start trembling. Over the because he knows if that angel say loose and get the, the, the decree from God to kill and destroy I say even the dead in the grave nervous I don't hear the folks I want to be under a leadership like that well ladies and gentlemen those of you that are standing sit down you're scaring the visitors according to Apostle Smith so Jesus, who is leading us, has called us to leadership. And he has given us all of the privileges, the powers, and the promises that are necessary for our success. And so the biggest challenge is to follow his leadership. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So we have to learn to follow the spirit. So the biggest challenge is to humble yourself. So our pastor, Pastor Brown, tonight, his biggest challenge is to realize, number one, he's called to serve. I think he gets it by now. He doesn't have a choice, really, in the matter. If he wants to make heaven his home, and if he wants God to be pleased with him, he just got to serve. Oh, yes, I believe he could have been a pilot. I believe he could have been an aeronautical engineer. I believe he could be a real Dan. Hallelujah. In a garrison, a whole down couple miles. I believe he could be uh, an architect. I believe he could have been anything he wanted to be. But God has specifically chosen him and given him a particular call, amen, that is uh, empowered by the Holy Spirit in him. So he has to realize and has realized because he didn't just stop, he didn't just, you know, just pop up like popcorn, amen, or like mushroom, amen. Praise God. He has been in the field for a long time and I've been serving his pastor, amen, as his pastor's minister, right? Oh, yes, hallelujah. And he had been serving and we have seen that the calling and the anointing of God is upon him. So what we are doing here tonight is not putting anything in him. What we are doing is recognizing what is in him. He's empowered to minister and so we want to encourage him to minister completely uh, so you have some of us ministers that we are particularly well most of us um, most of us uh, we tend to lean to our strength and so if you love the prophetic you tend to lean to it and if you love the discernment of spirits you tend to lean to it and if your strongest gift is teaching you tend to lean to it but at the peril of the other capacities that god have placed in you so pastor's challenge tonight is to lean to all that God has put in him as a man of God uh, along with his partner in life amen lady Chantal Brown so he must seek to serve completely so as teacher as preacher as a prayer person as prophet as priest as you know everything that God would have put in him because within the church uh, there are gifts and callings but not everybody has come up to accept and move into operation in their gifts and what this does to the pastor is that it puts a particular weight on his anointing and a certain pull that we are it is lacking in the church that we might have edification he must rise to that level of ministry to appropriate the lack that is in the body so there is a weight that is on him as a pastor if there is no action 
active discerner in the church. Discernment will have to flow through him. And if there is no word of knowledge operation real hot in the church, he is under pressure to operate under that gambit. And of course, there is no pressure on the Holy Ghost because you can't pressure God. I don't hear the folks. You ever get a real joy to the Holy Ghost yet? I see some of you look like you look through a window for just jump off through. Hallelujah. I see earlier some of you wondering what happening to your foot because you feel some moving and you have heart right in the knee. Hallelujah. But when the Holy Ghost jolt you, my God, you become energized. I don't hear the folks. So the Holy Ghost Jesus. So we have to learn to let the Holy Ghost loose. Learn to let the Holy Ghost loose. This is not an ordinary consecration. So there is a weight on pastor to manifest what is absent from the body. Why, Bishop, how you will get that? No, God prerogative that. The pastor is responsible for the complete care of the flock. So if it ain't flowing through him, he's got to find who it's flowing through and bring either it to you or you to it. So anyway, you take it, pressure is on the pastor. Mm -hmm. Lord. My intent tonight, among other things, is to stimulate some active, actual, passionate prayer for him. Pray, yeah. I need some praying, yeah. He is called to consecrate and to rescue the perishing. Not just the ones that look good, have a degree or two, but the one that smells like all parts dunder. After a good rainfall, he is called to consecrate the habitual backslider. He is called to minister to those that oppose themselves and don't even know it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He is sent to rescue. So we want to pray for him that he ministers completely. And we want to pray for him that he rescues at all times. He must also remember that those that are at his feet... He must reach them first. Kasmoshni. See, if you don't supply those standing at your feet, when your feet get weak, it won't have any support. No, should I clap you know? Some of you wives we are murmur about your husband. Mm-hmm. And he out the road every god minute I do church, every god thing church people call him in gone. But the pig round is a one little, 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 you know, little cutex. <sighs> Hallelujah. And, and, and him cannot find the time to cutex a pig. Hallelujah. But him gone chuck a hoe hoe. Hallelujah. Gone pray for that old wicked. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you ever knew that he needs to go pray for the wicked because piggy don't have any soul and the lord will kill piggy <laughs> if he don't go visit the wicked you know, some of your pig are dead and it's because you're not praying is not the food <laughs> and i know hope you're nobody hope you're you and true black candle co by fence <laughs> god send you go pray for mama so 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 and you're not rich <laughs> so god come to the piggy the day i worship every day me have to feed piggy <laughs> So I can't go on the mission. Hallelujah. God take piggy. And because you're afraid, you know, but I jerk him because you think I something kill him. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So pray, pray for the pastor because he's going to have to go some places sometimes where. It's going to be rough. But he has to bear in mind that he needs to feed those at his feet first. Your family is your first church. Your family is your first church. The elders first qualification is that they rule their house well. So it becomes the barometer of which they are judged to see 
if they qualify, notice, you know, it's not by gift, you know, reach gift, that's all. <laughs> because you could be gifted until you glow in the dark. If you have no character, you are not qualified. Mm -hmm. So, Paul never said by gift. Paul says that if you don't rule your house well, you cannot rule God's house. Uh -huh. And by rule, he doesn't mean a Tarzanian, draconian, swinging from the chandelier kind of rulership with a big subtle jack. Hallelujah. A nine millimeter. Hallelujah. And a metal baseball bat is not talking that kind of rulership. I don't hear the folks. And, and when I talk, even the dog must say, oh, no. It ain't that kind of league and rule. It is to order his house in a way that is in alignment with the principles of love with the principles of the understanding of authority and power that to whom much power is given they have to be judicious with its exercise mm -hmm. it's my responsibility brethren I am the bishop so those that are ruling your house and your wife can't say hallelujah without your permission. <laughs> you better make sure you say hallelujah. Let me say loser. Because one day she's going to bust one hallelujah for you. And if she don't get the practice. <laughs> when your heart claps come, she are going to just say, Ah, nothing can come. Because she never practiced the hallelujah, you one eye devil. Back up off my husband, I see you. In the name of Jesus, come here, honey. Rabba Shire. I don't hear the folks over here, so kind of quiet. Shia, you need your wife to be able to get down on her knees and say, agree, agree, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Can't stand the pressure. I don't hear the folks. So allow her to practice. When she call you and say, come home, no, baby, no, no, no. And you just hear her the panic. Mm, 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 mm. You must know he's a grunt come, brother. Hallelujah, skadoosh. Hallelujah, show up and say, here I am. Here I am. Somehow not too fleshy. I don't know, flesh me a chat about this. Uh, me a talk about a word of knowledge that hit her in the 12 o'clock. Uh, Shako satire. And while she was praying, God said, catch him. Uh, catch him and lay your hands on him. Uh, oh, you need a praying woman. So please allow her to say our hallelujah. Please allow her to give you wisdom. Please allow her to be herself. All right, strong men raise up godly houses in which the voices in their choir are appropriated by gift and calling. So pastor has to figure out that he needs to feed princess and princess before any other. I don't hear the folks. Oh no, no, one clap, no? Why some of you not get married yet? Are you not ready? Mm -hmm. You're looking at queen, but when the queen show up, you say, mm -mm. I want help. I'm mean, really need you, know, God. I really send one queen, come from me, God. I want help. I mean, we need wash, cook, and clean, and cook food. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. Godly men have queens. Why I don't feel the ladies praying for me? So pastor will have to take care of his wife and his family in a very, very much pastor, bishop, sir. It's, it's not easy. 
It is not easy to set order in your house. It is not easy to be a pastor's wife or a minister's wife. You're always under scrutiny. You don't get a chance to make a mistake. And when you make a local mistake, it is an international incident of global proportions and monumental catastrophe. She just sneezed when she should have coughed. And the minister of Do Everything Right had to be at church that Sunday. So she goes on five weeks probation while she's still sitting because she coughed when she should have sneezed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And because she washed the clothes without softener and it shrunk a little and she never noticed it because the last time she wore it, it was all right. Do you know what I'm saying? See the Incheon talk to me. Please remember your pastor in that regard. The pastor has to remember to serve them. To serve them. Not just to be served of them, but to serve them. Reverend, be strong in that regard. Your family is first. Your family is important. Your family is of God. You see, how he treats his family will be how he treats the church. And it's not easy. Do you know that Gentiles are very hard to lead? Are there any once upon a time Gentile? Some of us are still Gentiles. Far from the commonwealth. I want to encourage him because his attitude in this regard determines our altitude who follow him. Never settle for less, man of God. Never settle for less than your best. Never, never settle with good when you can go to great. Never seek for normal when you can go to extraordinary. In every aspect of your life and your ministry. You should endeavor never to preach at the same level. No two preachings. The next preaching must be better. If it, if it is not higher, it must be deeper. If it is not deeper, it must be wider. If it is not wider, it must be more effulgent. If it is not effulgent, it must be more something else. You know, you must always be pressing on to perfection. It is not easy to stay motivated, especially when you are among people who all they specialize in is demotivation. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You give them ice cream, them costs. Is ice cream cake I want? Hallelujah. You cook some wicked stew peas. And my wife is always saying, honey, we're always talking about food. Hallelujah. Amen. We are foodified people. Huh? In the name of Jesus. <laughs> you give them curry goat, they know them want jerk pork. And you give them jerk pork, them cost them want stew lamb. You find, you find one goat will look sheepish and cook it and give them. And they still murmur and complain. They are never satisfied. It's very, very difficult to keep on serving. Uh, when, you, when you give your best and, and, and you're half dead and you still give something else. And they say, oh, you know, I thank you, but uh, you, know, you know, it's not quiet. It's like you want to say, what you say? Never settle. Another thing pastor has to pay attention to, I, I have around five more and then I'm done. He has to guard his integrity with all vigilance. You got to protect your integrity. It's not easy. It's very easy to be disintegrous in this world. You know, to just fit in with the norm, to just do anything. If you feel that you are tempted as a, as a, as a Christian who is not in leadership position, I beg you, do, don't come further because... The more you stand for God is the more the enemy stands against you. And he stands against you through your flesh, through the world, and through the hierarchical in in um, systems of darkness. So he's coming at you because when the leader stands, the people will stand. And when the leader fall, the people will fall. I don't care what you say. You're going to stagger. When the leader is drunk, we will all walk like drunken master. Even if you're sober, you're still going to stagger, you know, like the wushu clang or something. Do you get what I'm saying? When the leader is walking upright and is calibrated, then you will be able to do that. So uh, the other thing to people that you have to learn to do is to help to safeguard the integrity of your minister. I need some more clapping. 
You see, if I watch for you and you watch for me, then we will all be watched and covered. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so you don't do certain things to your minister because you're protecting him or her. You're not accusing him by behaving in a protective way. It's not an accusation. It's not that you think he's going to flirt with you, steal your money, run off with your goat name, meh, meh. It is because you want to protect him from such. And you want to cover him from the enemy trying to come at him. Because if the enemy gets him, he's going to get you. You better believe it. If your pastor is weak, you are going to be under way more warfare than you normally would. So I'm encouraging you to help him to safeguard his integrity. Don't ask him to do certain things. Just don't. Thank you, Bishop Mary. One of you say amen, you know. Amen. Uno thinks that is installation. It's just him. Is all of you? All right. So help him to safeguard his anointing. Kashata. The anointing is protected with integrity. That which is upright, honest, you know, lovely and just, you protect him. Do I have somebody saying amen? amen? Pastor, preach, teach, and demonstrate sound biblical truth and apostolic doctrine. Preach it when it's time to preach. Teach it when it's time to teach. Demonstrate it all day, every day. Don't cut it. I, I, I know I don't even need to elaborate on this. <laughs> Amen. Uh, don't trim it. I know we see a brown. Amen. We no pod nothing. We no pet nothing. Hallelujah. Sometimes people call us some names. You know we are or, or whatever. Amen. But the truth is just the truth. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. So we will not cut it. We will cool it. Mm -hmm. But we will not cut it. We will curtail it to be specified and accurate. You know like a like an incising instrument when we when we need to cut between you know some closely integrated structures you need to get into the world and let the, let the word do the incision but don't take off any bit of the blade it will cause the incision to be jagged and cause you to do damage when you want to do healing so don't leave out any aspect of the truth man of god preach the complete gospel i mean the complete truth i'm serious even if it is your bundunado spreader i say even if it's your nice good working friend amen that polish the church so good and uh, you know what I mean them that they are always present and ready if they're out of line put them in line I mean put them in line real good uh, I don't hear the folks are not saying amen no uh, don't curry any favor and stew any wrong hallelujah stand up strong on the word of God let them know it even when they don't want to hear it preach it teach it tell them every time I don't hear the folks uh, hallelujah never forget man of God that you ultimately answer to God in the earth realm I am just your overseer really and truly that's what I am but you don't answer to me as to God you answer to me as unto God where my function is concerned but at the end of the day you answer to God every one of us answer to God so you see even if I malfunction you mustn't malfunction because you know that you are answering to God so because my malfunction I will have to fix oh uh, yeah but you might get lost through my malfunction mm, anyway and that is why it is important for leaders to be very careful because when a follower makes a mistake it might affect one or two but when a leader makes a mistake it definitely has the potential to affect one and all Come on, man, come on. We come a little Bible college and we are getting like something, something tonight. Amen. You didn't pay for it. Praise the Lord is the grace. <laughs> Hallelujah. So pastor is always laboring with that understanding that he ultimately answers to God. So sometimes when his humanity reverent will say, boy, give him another chance. The Holy Ghost might say, nip it now. When our apostolic collective wisdom might say, deal with the matter this way, the Holy Spirit might rise up and say, no way. 
no way in such a way that you figure pastor is mad with you but it is the spirit of god that occupies him in that moment and he speaks with such positive affirmation and spiritual grimace out of the holy ghost as to put the thing in place and you say but I'm not me and pastor just chat good little while and what happened ah something in you jesus was talking nice eh? and then peter with him look all out of harder self give room to the devil and said Fa! Jesus turned back with the subtle jack and whoosh. Get the hen Satan. I see it in slow mo. My imagination is very active, you know. I can see when God lick him with that hammer, I see the devil just come out of him. So <laughs> Hallelujah. Prepare to answer well, because you're answering to God ultimately. The church might become we want it to become fat in the Holy Ghost, fat in the world, fat, real good, healthy church. But you can have a fat church without God. <laughs> Pastor, I'd rather you have a meager church with God than a fat church with no God. After a while, you become the God and then you're in trouble. The other thing is to protect your personal fellowship with God. Always safeguard it. Fight for it, please. The more you get busy, the more there will be a demand for you to, you know, cut your fasting routine. You know, slip out a little bit more, quicker out of the prior closet. Any real pastor in here can confess and just start the truth. It happens. When you get so busy, you just run item, 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 rev. And when you should spend an hour, and you normally spend a good half hour, you find that in five minutes, you, you, you run out of what you say? Yeah, business, business. So it will kill you. So you have to appropriate time for your fellowship with God. And when I say fellowship now, this must be understood. It's not the kind of fellowship in that specific way that is sought after when you are to bring a word to the people. Not that kind of fellowship. I'm talking about the you and God fellowship. This week you didn't sleep well, my son. Hallelujah. This thing is bothering your mind. And he speaks a word into your soul. And in that moment, that condition is comprehended. And you are surgically repaired without a knife and without anesthesia. Potashama. In five minutes, your, your diabetic neuropathy is healed at the source. Your, your pancreas is renewed in the aisles of Langerhans, in the gamma and the beta cells. One, two minutes with daddy. Shia, I hear your master. When he sweeps over your soul and correct your spirit and recalibrate the compass of your emotion. Shama, five hours with the counselor can't come near that. Uh, when you sit at his feet, uh, oh Jesus, uh, ah, you feel like crying. <laughs> I feel you tonight. Oh, shatter by the Holy Ghost. Uh, and, and you're just there. Another hill and sometimes a valley another road with songs to hurt my feet mother before you reach but I don't need to I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes Reverend Mary, but and the wit can't come. I just feel when the angel of his presence just come down in my room and, and the space get bigger. Shamasiah. And my eyes open and I see that devil wanting to afflict my soul and bring me in depression. Mama Shia. And I hear the Lord says, I am yours and you are mine. Rise up, my child. Ah, because too many miles Miss an eternity of a shift behind me
yourself. Pastor, remember tonight. Sometimes you might just need to drive by the seaside. Sometimes you may need to take Lady Brown and sometimes you need to be by yourself. Oh, Shia. Just put your foot in the... I remember this personally, Shanda. Sometimes you just come to the sea, woman of God, and you put your foot in the sand, mama. And then he just come back to you with a song, you know? A one set of footprints in the sand. And you did, I say, Lord, with you. I feel like you left me, Jesus. And he carried me on the seashore, and he showed me, and he says, walk in the wave line. And Elder Forrester, Pastor, when I walked in the wave line, I noticed when I looked behind me, my steps were disappearing. Dark clouds rise, they don't worry me, for I am sheltered safe within the arms of God. Friday evening after you can't balance the books and after ray 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 and the Lord visit you and tell you that don't let it worry you boy I've got the money and it ain't funny I've got the honey with or without the bees I knew of this before it became a reality and I set you up that I might show up and show off Sit down and hold your seat, my youth. Let me show you who God is. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Saturday morning, are you that? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? I come in Persia cooking up. Ay, 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 I sit and don't want. <laughs> I won't go under my brown yard. Oh, I'm waiting down here. And the river will you come lost in the sea. Oh, if you love me, I, uh, yes, Lord, if you love me. Stop, stop, stop. And if you stay like me, your boss all a record right and fresh. See it on the island, oh, I'm going blind him from tonight. Already for this, you know. Me not too right in me, don't tell you no already. Sometimes you have to get radical and get lyrically fit. Hey, no matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No matter what the enemy says, I'm gonna glorify him. No matter what the enemy says, I'm gonna glorify him. The trials are hard, the money is dry. They bang say no, but God is right by my side. I'm gonna walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Fear no evil. Better is on, I could have come. 
Tomorrow I go better, we go have some fun. Uh, Jesus with me, the devil cry, cry. Fire, 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 fire burning in me. I've got the Holy Ghost in my body. I've got the word on my mind. So see with me, Reverend. Sometime I mean that you know. Enough time overseer, bro. That is Bishop. Yes, mother. A kind of cuckoo. A kind of cuckoo. Uh -huh. I don't hear the folks. I remember one Christmas, you know. Things wasn't so right. Can I testify? Thank you, mother. I remember one Christmas, Reverend. Things never so right. He never so right with me, he never so right with everything around me. And I felt so low. And, and uh, I remember I could hear the enemies, I could hear the demons that would gather, you know. And they would have said, We get him now. Where your shout there? Where your power there? Where your talk there? And <laughs> I was listening to this Christmas song, You better watch out. You better not cry. You better stop out. And I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. I who tell him to go tell me. You better watch out, devil. You better start crying. You better look out. And I'm telling you why. The blood of Jesus is coming. Stop, 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 stop. So my people they lose their 90. Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to offend you. Yes, sir, when I don't sing that. Mister, when I don't tell that old long face, brother. I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, why you say, brother? <laughs> Whoa. Greater is he that is in me. That was the end of that with my little thing. I dropped it a water a few times, praise the Lord. They don't know where it's coming from. It is one of those valley songs. You have to take everything and learn to turn, tune your lyle to it. And that only occurs overseer in your personal time. You got to safeguard it. In the business world, it's called time blocking. So you have to time block your personal time. Where you set if it's an hour. And you vociferously defend that time. If they are dead in, let them dead. Because you're coming out of that hour with the power to raise them. And if they're going to crash, make them crash. And then you put them back together again. But... That time must be for you and God. The last thing I want to say. Honor the past. Always. By maintaining the present. I'm finished with the um, admonition. And preparing for the future. So as a pastor under this ambit, you have to honor the past. I never said to replicate the past. You must honor it. You must reproduce the results of the past and greater. 
but you must honor it. So some things you keep just out of honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Out of respect for the fathers. You know, you, you could throw that out, but you don't throw it out. You build it into the current testimony that their witness continues to be heard. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have to honor the past because without it, you wouldn't be present. You get what I'm saying? So overseer, honor the past. You might not be able to do what God would put in your heart right away. I know what I'm saying. I have some stuff in my heart about our Papa Bishop Evans. And I know the, the folks that, you know, are hasty and have more zeal. I mean, they can't wait. But you know that if you're going to do it, you do it well. I don't like hurry come up, you know. So you do it well. You get what I'm saying? So when you're going to do it, you do it posh. And you do it, ooh, ooh, la, 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 you know, creme de la creme. Well done. Honor the past. Maximize the present. Prepare for the future. And you will see the works of God continue. Right? So when you honor the past, you understand the principles of the past and you keep the principles. Some things you, you will have to change, brethren. Shortly after this, we, we cannot have the fans keeping us cool. Some of you had covid COVID left you, but you still hold on to the fever. Oh, no, no, hot. Me up here, I sweat like pig. It hot. We need AC, not you? Why don't you say yes? I want to suck us. Why are your bedroom alone, my school? And your yard? The house of God must have AC in it. We can praise the Lord a little longer. Under more salubrious conditions. Hallelujah. Better condition. We need to have AC. The fun thing now go work. But look at that the fun. The fun, the fun dead brother. Brethren the fan is gone. I mean. He served well. But boy. He need to go to the well now. We have those nice fans. But sometimes they are loud. And after we cool down the place, we can turn them on to keep the air circulating. So, that's how you honor the past. And maximize the present. You get it? And you don't have to go JPS. They have inverter technology now. And solar technology. Who said the church can be ac Who said church be ac I want that man. Hi, hi. So you know what that means though, right? Give and it will come back to you. Press down, mm -mm, gentlemen, running over, give, and it will come back to you. Oh, when you give to the Lord, one dollar now go do it, oh, hundred night. You need the blue and the brown and the other one. Money, 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 if you run for the church to get cool, go find it and sow it and see. Money I go come. Money I go come. I don't hear the folks. Hello, somebody. So the blessing is going to flow through you and you're going to bring the blessing that the place needs to be AC. The place needs to be expanded. The place needs to be developed. The place needs to be furthered because we are building on the foundation of the apostles and prophets of Pastor Blake and Lady Blake. We are building on what they have already done and we are taking it higher and we're going to show them some love too. Don't you worry. We are going to be honoring them in November. They're going to have them splash dash party. I said they're going to have party. I don't hear the folks. November, Mark it, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to send the date. And all of we going to put together a nice money for them to go on a honeymoon. I don't hear the folks, honey, honey, honey. Let us go to the moon. I'm serious. I am laughingly serious. We're going to honor them. We're going to big them up. 
I don't hear the folks. So who are going to do some overtime? Who, who, who? Who are going to take off little of the investment and say, yo, me have to bless the man and woman of God. Oh, Shanda. Who are going to buy a couple of the white for them and pray God turn them brown? I don't hear the folks. Hallelujah. Eh? Oh, God. Buy one of the piggy them and pray over him in the name of Jesus. You, you shall multiply till you're weak. Hallelujah. 12 drop, 14 drop one time. Hallelujah. None in the name of Jesus shall die. I dedicate this pig to Pastor and Mother Blake. Thou shalt bring forth and multiply. Buyer shall come from east, west, north, and south. Virginia. I'm not telling you anything I haven't done. Radical. Because we want to bless these people. I have a figure in my head. Not say nothing, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't want to insult anybody's sensitivity. But we're going to celebrate them in a befitting way. And we're going to honor them for their service. I, I, don't, I don't want them to go home to the Lord and we don't get a chance to minister to them. Show them love. On that night, we're going to talk some stuff that most of you don't know. And so you will overstand certain things. Can we just give God thanks in this moment? Tell him that you were able to laugh. Thank him that you were able to smile. Thank him that you used all the muscles in your face. And you know, you don't have luck, jaw. You know, give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. God has a sense of humor. Him we get it from. Holy Spirit. I know that thou art here. All right, we're going to shift gears in this part. I'm going to be way more expeditious. I want to thank you for bearing with me. I really am. I'm thanking you for bearing with me. We need a little reminder of them something here every morning. And I know that every pastor that is here tonight or might be watching this service will find some encouragement there and be able to say, Amen, Bishop, that is so true. And we want to let Pastor uh, Elect Brown know that we are here for you. We know, we know what you're going to face to some degree. And we have great expectations. Nothing less. Great, great expectations. I am going to ask us to just get to a, a silent place at this time and I'm going to call Pastor Elect Brown to stand and Lady Brown to stand with him. And I'm going to ask them to, yes, to take one step away from your chair. One step. I'm going to ask the body of ministers who are able to stand. I'm going to ask Mama and Papa Blake to remain seated. And the rest of us. Could you just join me? It will not be a long charge. All the ministers that are with me. If you're here and you're a minister and you, you feel up to it, you could just stand with them. Stand with them. Today we are gathered here with the express intention of installing Overseer Escoffrey Brown to the servant position of pastor of the Knoxwood Apostolic Church of the International Apostolic Ministries. It is my deepest joy that we have been called tonight in this congregation, congregation to bring this to light. So dearly beloved, we have examined Overseer Brown and his wife from the necessary angles of Christian behavior, gift and calling, and have found that in him resides the gift and the calling to be a pastor. He is gifted with the anointing to nurture souls, grow them, 
seek them, deliver them, and position them in ministry. He has demonstrated this with tact, with efficiency, with passion, and with zeal. This, our elder standing before you tonight, has been duly appointed as the assistant pastor of this church for some many years. A duty that he continued to do and proved himself by the merit of his charge that he is a faithful servant. I have personally witnessed in him the manifest character that becometh a leader. He has demonstrated, and this the Lord led me to do, to prove him without he knowing it, to do something within my power as a bishop and see how he would have behaved. And when I tell you, that he has behaved excellently. Excellently. I am not saying he was perfect. I'm saying when I sum up his behavior, it was excellent. There is an epithet concerning the King David. When he was castigated and sought and hunted by Saul... That at three particular times, David had certain testimonies. Testimony number one, when Saul tried to kill him, David behaved himself wisely. On the second occasion, when Saul had tried to kill him again, the Bible says David behaved himself more wisely. And on the third iteration of David's testimony, it says David behaved himself wiser than all. I have seen it in Overseer Brown. Behave himself wisely. Behave himself more wisely. Behave himself wiser than all. I'm going to ask of Elder Brown a few questions and um, he is going to answer me as he wills. Are you willing to take the charge of this congregation as its pastor? Agreeable to your calling and spiritual discipline? If you are, you will say, I am now willing. I am now willing. Do you conscientiously believe and declare, as far as you know, your own heart, that in taking upon you this charge, you are influenced by a sincere desire to promote the glory of God and the good of the church? If you are, you say, I so believe and declare. I so believe and declare. Do you solemnly promise that, Moshanda, by the assistance of the grace and power of God, you will live a holy consecrated life and endeavor faithfully to discharge all the duties of a pastor to this congregation and will be careful to maintain a deportment in all respects becoming of a minister of the gospel of Jesus? If you are, you will say, I do. I do. Two. Very good overseer. I'm going to ask you and Lady Brown to turn this time and face the congregation now. Just turn. Face the congregation. Knoxwood Heights, I am going to ask you to stand. All the members of the Knoxwood Assembly, I'm going to ask you to stand this time. The rest of us remain seated. These questions are for you. And I want Pastor and Lady Brown to see your faces. I'm going to ask you some questions and you'll answer me yes or no. Do you, the people of this congregation, continue to profess your readiness to receive Elder Overseer F. Scoffrey Brown, who you have seen worked and labor? As your pastor, if you are, you say, we will. Okay. Do you promise to receive the word of truth from his mouth, Shama, with meekness and love, 
and to submit to him in the due exercise of discipline if you are you'll say we will do you promise to encourage him in his arduous labor and to assist him in his endeavors for your instruction and spiritual edification and education if you will you say we will do you promise that while he is your pastor you will assure his adequate maintenance by continuing or restarting or more accurately paying your tithes and give your offerings and whatever else may be needful for the honor of the work of God in him and his comfort among you if you intend to say so. If Lady Mary are the lowest wonder one day. <laughs> All right, may I go try that one day again? <laughs> Do you, Knoxwood, promise that while Pastor Brown is your pastor, you will assure his adequate maintenance by continuing, increasing, more accurately paying your tithes and giving your offerings, and whatever else may be needful for the honor of the work of God in him, and his comfort among you, if you are, or you promise you'll say, we will. We will. Wait, 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 wait. I think the angels get all of your names. Pastor and Lady Brown, like, could you turn around, please? Brethren, you please still remain standing. And I'm going to ask all the rest of us that are joining in to stand at this time for this section. These two lovely servants of God are first your brethren. If they stop pastoring tomorrow, they will remain your brethren. If they become bishop and archbishop next week, they are still, thank you, your brethren. And beyond that, please remember that they are still human beings. Do you hear me, brethren? They are human beings. Okay? Deal? They are human beings. Can all the humans in here say amen? amen? All the rest of you who didn't say amen, please leave. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to anoint them with oil. I'm just going to ask Daddy Blake just to hold the bottle for me, sir. Just hold it.
I'm going to ask Bishop Elect Myrie to come with me. Evangelist Myrie. Pastor, please come. Mother, please come. Mama Blake, please come. Daddy Blake, please come. Reverend, just join me. Elder, just stand there. We're going to ask you to just kneel here. Bishop, just come stand at the front. I'm going to come in a minute. Pastor Blake, stand behind Bishop Elect Mary for me, please. Mama Blake, stand behind Daddy Blake. This is just something I feel led to do. Um, Evangelist Mary, just come beside Bishop in a moment. I will come right between you and then you are going to lay hands on me. I want us to sing this song and I'm going to lead you into it and I'm asking you, I'm asking the music to play, but be a little bit softer for me. Hallelujah. And I want you to think of this song as we hear consecrate these two servants. A charge to keep I have a God to glorify uh, never die in soul to say and feed it for the sky listen man of God to serve this present my call
Father. In the name of Jesus. I lift up overseer Scoffery Brown and Lady Chantal Brown before you. As he has stepped out with her agreement and consent and unity. To stand at the helm of this ship. To lead this church into the next leg. Into the next age of its life. Having served faithfully under your man's servant, Pastor Blake and Mother Blake. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will shackle him with a burning zeal hotter than he has ever seen it. For souls, for deliverance, for the full merit of the gospel, healings, deliverance, signs, miracles, wonders, dead rays, blind sea, deaf ears open dumb mouth talk crippled legs walk demonically paralyzed to be loosed and free let it rest and come upon him mightily in the name of Jesus let him preach the word in season out of season be instant in the devotion of the Let your zeal rest upon him and eat up his soul to do thy complete will. I pray you strengthen him with might by your spirit in his innermost being. I pray the spirit of wisdom and understanding and counsel and might and knowledge and the fear of the Lord and the full power of the Holy Spirit will rest upon him, remain upon him, abide upon him, work through him. Cover him under your precious blood. Give him eyes to see and ears to hear more than he has ever seen or heard. Mouth to speak, hands to work, feet to mobilize. Strengthen his loin with the guard of truth, the breastplate of righteousness upon his passion. Your gospel of peace upon his feet. A sword of the spirit in his hand of cunning. The shield of faith in the other hand. And your glory be his rear guard in the name of Jesus. Let him go from faith to faith, from glory to glory, from joy to joy, from victory to victory. From conquest to conquest. Let him be without fear. I release double portion of boldness. Revelation, knowledge, fire. Holy Spirit upon your servant. In the name of Jesus, give him wisdom beyond years, understanding beyond faculty, and insight beyond intuition. In the name of Jesus, heal his body, heal Sister Chantal's body. Remember, baby Brown, cover her under your canopy, oh, under the wings of your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we commit them to your keep. In the name of Jesus. Can we now just pray for them? Let the congregation stretch your hands towards them. Whatever comes in your spirit by the word of God, pray it for them. I pray for their finances. I pray you multiply their stock and their lot in the earth. I pray they'll never beg, but they'll have more than enough to give and to share. I rebuke all forms of sickness and disease, all attacks from the devil, every element of attack from their past. In the name of Jesus, every arrow, every dart, every carefully cooled instrument of wickedness and device of cruelty meant to subvert their anointing 
anointing and abort their ministry I rebuke it in the name of Jesus we break the arrows hallelujah of the wicked we break the rods of their strength against your servants establish them in the earth as a great mighty couple hallelujah carry of the end time message hallelujah let your anointing rest upon him in double portion upon her in double portion hallelujah wisdom revelation understanding hallelujah in the name of Jesus give them novel ideas establish their children their heritage in the earth as they honor the past as they maximize the future and prepare Lord God Almighty for what you'll have them to do in the mighty name of Jesus bless their occupations bless hallelujah their field let it multiply and bring forth in double abundance we thank you for blessing the flock over which you have hallelujah seen it fit to make them pastors we thank you that they were able to afford their father and mother in the gospel rest hallelujah an adequate recalcitration in the name of Jesus hallelujah I thank you for the spirit of zeal I thank you for the spirit of faithfulness over them in the name of in the name of Jesus we thank you oh God and we thank you for those brethren that have been identified who will work with them and do thy will with them strengthen them likewise give them the spirit of good fellowship hallelujah that they will follow and that they will inspire and encourage and cover and undergird your man and your woman's servant and their beautiful baby in the name of Jesus we declare it to be so we ask in the name of Jesus with confidence and we give you thanks Lord that this moment has come to pass let your anointing rest upon them mightily and let them grow in all spiritual graces and spiritual endowment Lord God to perform thy full will in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm going to ask Overseer Pastor Brown and Lady Chantal Brown to stand at this moment. I'm going to ask him just to face. Can somebody get his scripture? Wipe his face. This represents the codex. It is the key to everything in the kingdom of God. It is your license to operate as a viceroy and an ambassador in the earth. Pashaya. I'm giving you this one. It is special because I'm giving it to you. And I know you're going to keep it. Do not be afraid to use it. I know you won't abuse it. God shall guide you, thou man of his house. Go for it. Slack not your ride. Keta shate ko se ketosha. Meno muno buju breke simbri adala bahondo rabo saya. Move Babasa Ishkusu Ezibi Sakre Runda Barebe Rushibro Okrota in the Yesio Yabosemre Ada Manamanakura Kia Tete Te Shotoroko Sambra. Put your hand under his arm. Shibosun Fale. Bring me Baby Brown. Where is she? Hello, Shilebel. Please bring Baby Brown. Come, Princess. Let her stand beside mommy. Shama. Shebro Kroshada. Pastor, I was looking for you. Just put your hand on that book. Put your hand on the book. Thank you. Overseer Pastor Brown. For enabling your father in the Lord. To sit at peace. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for letting this stalwart sit down. Kasata. 
God will reward you. Shaya Baba Basa. God at Abadassia. Katashati. Anamana. I need you, you need me, we're all a part of God's body, stand with me, agree with me, we're all a part of God's body, it is served well and I know it does your heart good to see your son step in and keep the fire burning be free be free you have run well your war reward the real reward is awaiting in your name God bless you daddy God bless you mama In the interest of time, we're going to have Mama and Papa Blake to just greet them first. Then I'm going to ask the leaders here, pastors, ministers, the friends, those that came from far to be a part of this as a leader, to come and just greet them. Save the full text message for later. And just give them an emoji right now. You know what I'm saying? Just give them a touch and go. Uh, are you with me? All right, so the ministers, so M Pastor and Mama Blake, Emeritus, are going to greet them, embrace them, bless them. And then the ministers, pastors, please just touch and go. And then I'm going to allow Pastor to give his response, which will be very short. It's his first instruction from his bishop. As and then we can greet them, share some love. Amen. Uh huh. How oh, no looks so? <laughs> All right, brethren, go ahead. Daddy. 
Just wait. We're going to ask Lady Brown and Pastor Brown to please come and take their seats. I'm going to thank Minister Austin. Their, their stuff have been conducted up here already. Amen. Yes. Sister Brown. Sits. No, you're here. you here, Earl. That's right. Sister Brown. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How do you feel? Want to feel good? You, you're all right? Are, are you all right? Very good. I, I feel really, really good. I feel really, really good. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, without any further ado, I'm going to ask us all who are not standing yet to stand. And at this time, for the first time in this capacity, I am glad to take this liberty to introduce to you all and present to you none other than the newest minted pastor on the block. None other than the one and only Overseer, now Pastor Escoffrey Brown. Put your hands together and receive God, man, servant. Then, oh, my Lord, Pipe. My soul for that great day. Shut up. Oh, wash me thy precious Lord and take my seeds away.
somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Be seated. I know the time is spent. Glory to God. And I also know that there are many of you that are, amen, traveling and have a lot of journey to do. So I'm going to behave myself up in here. There's much more to come. Amen. But let me take this opportunity in greeting our presiding bishop, Bishop Scott. Put your hands together for him. Amen. Praise God. And of course, Bishop Elect, amen, and Lady Woman of God, Myrie. Could you put your hands together for them? Hallelujah to God. To all the pastors that are here tonight, from Elder Audley Fear and Lady Fear, Amen. Praise God Almighty. Amen. And all the other pastors. I don't want to get myself in trouble because I have so many pastors that are here tonight. Amen. But special greetings to my very own pastor, Pastor and Lady Blake. Could you put your hands together for them? Glory to God in the highest. There is so much people that are here tonight celebrating with us. And I recognize that the rain couldn't stop it. Glory to God. I said the rain couldn't stop it. And so tonight, I also know that the mere fact that so many of you are here, amen, it simply means that the expectation continued to exceed. I'm going to say that again. The expectation continue, amen, to exceed. And so praise God. I just want to say tonight a big thank you to every single one of you. And if there's anything that I could ask you to do, and I'm speaking on behalf of my wife, amen, it's just to pray for us. I'm going to say it again. If there's anything, I, I, I don't mind if you're giving us a plane or a car, or even give us, giving us a house on the beach. Yes. Glory to God. I don't mind that. But if there's something that I really need tonight, I need you to pray for me. I heard somebody says that the enemy will come. Can I tell you something? The enemy was already here. Praise God. I, from the moment, amen, praise God, amen, I started out following the Lord. The enemy sees something that disturbed him. Mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God. But I'm happy that the Bible says greater is he that is in me oh somebody praise him up in here mighty god i know that the hatter the buckler the so those of you who used to pray one time the rather say i know one pr oh shut up higher hallelujah you're gonna have to pray some more You see, purpose yes. can be battered. Yes. Purpose can be bruised. Yes. Joseph, amen, was a purpose child. Yes. I know the time he spent, but I gotta say this. Yes. All his brothers could see yes. is a dreamer. Just a dream. All his brothers could see was one who their father loved above them. Oh God, I feel something up in here. Mighty God. While Joseph was concerned about his brothers and his father sent him to look for them. When he get to a particular part, he could not find them. I inquire, did you see my brother? Somebody said they gone down to Dothan. When he see them finally, all they could see is a dream they want to get rid of. But Joseph could only see his brothers who he really want to give back words to his father yes. and in the end they thought they have him My God. And they did what they had to do yes. but when favor is upon your life favor will follow you when they sell you yes. it will follow you to Patifa's house yes. Patifa will put you in charge yes. before long the devil who is always present will show up but I heard David says don't be fierce don't be fierce so while he was in Patifa's house Miss Patifa lied on him it was no time to go to prison but in prison, 
the Lord was with him. And that's what I need, the Lord, to be with me. The writer says, I need thee, oh. I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. And so Joseph was in prison for something he didn't do. But the Lord knew very well that hello Joseph while it's good to be in Potiphar's house the experience is dear is good but you need to understand what it is to be behind bar the problem we face is too much people having Potiphar's house experience having yes their brothers fighting against their dreams experience but God is getting ready to take somebody to the next level where you go to prison interpret dream people who you say remember me. Oh God, I feel something up in here. Forget me, mighty God. But God will show up on time. And so tonight, pray for me. I see myself as Joseph. But thanks be to God, there was a time when his brother couldn't recognize him. Why? They could not see him being the governor. Some people only have you some places. Ah, oh God. But where he leads me, ah, oh God, I feel something up in here. And when Joseph saw his brother, he was looking at his brother knowing them because he would have told them that which is now present. They couldn't see that which is present because all they were seeing, it's somebody they sold and is now dead. Let us keep our eyes on the Lord and let us continue to trust him. Amen. Praise God. I need everybody help. Amen. I need the help of everybody. Amen. Not necessarily money, but prayer. Glory to God. Because we wrestle not against uh, God, but the demons that we wrestle against. Uh, God, principal for Burn Summoner Primary is here. And while she had many teachers up there, not all are principals. I feel something up in here. So principal demons are higher. Oh God, I feel something up in here. Somebody worship God. Ah, God. And so if we, I love God counting, one shall chase a thousand. And I was looking for God to say two shall chase two thousand. But I hear God says two shall put. Oh God, I feel something. So what if God should say three or even four? And so if you and me pray, then something will happen. Heaven bless you. I love you with the love of God. And I pray that every one of you will get something to eat. Because I know you didn't shovel. God bless you, General Secretary. I heard you, Mom. <laughs> Wonderful. Every one of you should get something to eat. We don't know how we're going to manage this crowd in terms of the amount. But we're going to be asking you. Uh, this is not a part of what I should say. But I'm going to say it. We're going to ask you, amen, to just deal with them kindly. We have holy for food. <laughs> Glory to God. And the food will stretch. But the place little. So we need some more place. <laughs> so while you go for your food, just say, place Lord. Place Lord. Place Lord. Lord. <laughs> One piece of land down there, so we need it. <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. <laughs> there was a time, two big mango tree down there, so I come on in. <laughs> How many of you remember? <laughs> One Sunday, I stand up here and I said, that mango tree, we need them dead. <laughs> when me look, somebody else took over the property and burned them down. Oh God, you didn't hear what I just said. <laughs> Mighty God of Daniel. <laughs> Sometimes we just need to speak some words. Words, uh, and believe God uh, and God. Hey, God, will. Hey, God so God bless you tonight I love you and I'm going to hand back to my bishop receive him thank you pastor Brown put your hands together for a pastor I don't hear the folks clap your hands like the devil is between it and you're mad with him <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir thank you thank you thank you Amen. You know, I'd like to say this in line of what Pastor said. Judas was the friend of Jesus' destiny. He appeared to be the enemy of his destiny, but he was the friend of his destiny. So many things we go through and it looks like it's meant to destroy us. 
But really and truly, look at it from God's eyes. It is meant to bring us to perfection. Uh, can I see the hands of those who would like some of the food over there? I don't know, she me no, I know some more I know some of my food. Praise the Lord. Ain't no shame in my game. I didn't eat as much as I needed. By the way, I'm stepping straight off a plane to come here. This is how important this is. No joke. Amen. This is important. Anyway, so praise the Lord. Those of you who shouted the most, you know yourselves. Make sure you're at the front of the line. Could we all stand? I'm going to ask our bishop-elect to just close this off in prayer. Hmm. Okay. While bishop-elect Mary comes and we quiet down, I'm going to ask you to see yourself where you're needed most in this ministry. And when Bishop, when our pastor Mary shall pray, I'm going to ask you to pray that God help you to be the best version of yourself for this ministry. The best version of you. I'm going to ask you, those things that will not help you to go forward, leave them behind. Those things that you need to press ahead, Please don't leave them. Our big brother, Bishop elect, servant of God, that you pray for us. Praise the Lord. Can we glorify God tonight? Can we tell him how much we appreciate him? Can we honor him with a heart of gratitude tonight and say, God, you're awesome. You are great and greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down. You are not an afterthought God. We were in you from before the foundation of the world. And you foreknown us. And predestinate us. You have pre-planned our life beforehand. And so tonight, God, we give you thanks for this evening exercise. We thank you, God Almighty, for presiding, Bishop, and the way you use him expressively, God Almighty. Hallelujah to anoint God Almighty, the servant, oh God, who will be taking over this baton, God Almighty. We thank you for the reception, God, of the people that reply that they will obey and take instruction from the man of God. We want to thank you for our father and mother in Zion, Daddy Blake and Mother Blake. As they, God, set the example, God, oh, hallelujah, that, oh, God, our man servant could emulate them, God Almighty. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You have brought him from a mighty long way, God. You have brought him to his Gilgal. You have brought him, God, to his Bethel. You have brought him to Jordan. You have brought him to Jericho. It's all because you have an anointing, God Almighty. And we thank you, God, that all that he claimed was a double portion of anointing. And Lord Jesus, as the mantle fall in him, Lord, he can use that mantle now to destroy every stronghold, every powers of darkness, mighty God. Every hierarchy demon around here, in the name of Jesus Christ, you put your sword in his hand to cut clear her koshata. I pray God Almighty that he continue hold on to your unchanging hand. That you will lead him in your way and in your will and let your will be done, Lord. Let him be a terror to the enemy, God Almighty. Let him live up a standard now to the walls, God. Let everything be surrendered and subjected to the higher authority, the power of Almighty God that you invest in him. 
And when the enemy see him coming, Lord, they will back up. Fully charged. Hallelujah. With John 3 16 and Mark 16 and Acts 2 38 to kill, cramp, and paralyze. Every plan of the enemy. We rendered every enemy powerless by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command the devil to back up now. Take your flight. Go back to the pit of hell from whence thou comest. For your servant is already anointed and appointed to carry on your work, God Almighty. And as you count him faithful and place him into this ministry, and has blessed him with a ministry of reconciliation. That he has been reconciled by your blood God almighty. Your efficacious blood. For by grace he saved through faith. It's nothing of works. But it's your unmerited favor. Continue to bless him and his wife dear God. As they labor in this vineyard. Continue to bless this ministry. Continue to bless the surrounding God Almighty. Everyone in this community, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, we release uh, the power of God over this community. And we command every unsaved folks that as your word go forth, it will touch your mind, touch their mind, and pull them to the Almighty God. It's not your will to see anyone perish. But that all should come to repentance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The name that is above every name. And at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue must confess. That Jesus Christ you are. The omniscient God. You are the omnipotent God. You are the omnipresent God. And we are in your presence tonight. Which there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand your authority. They are pledges forevermore. As we go in your name. Keep us. From the terror. Keep us from accident. Keep us from the gunmen. Keep us from the rapists. Keep us from bloodshed. And cover us, God Almighty, under your blood. That when the enemy see the blood, he have to pass over your elected, selected folks here. And take us safely to our destination. In the name of Jesus, we agree. We declare and we decree done now with your choicest blessing the blessing of abraham of isaac and of jacob and the peace of jerusalem in jesus name thank you thank you bishop amen we praise the lord with your hands lifted the palms to the ceiling lift your hands and turn your palms oh shama up the lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord be gracious unto thee and give thee peace. By Jesus Christ our Lord. And we all say I receive it. One more time. I receive it. Amen. God bless you. Greet somebody in Jesus name. Could we let the visitors that are going farthest get food first? Even if they didn't shout more. Um, let's just allow them this one time. The visitors that are going far, please let them get first. Amen. Our friendship brethren, our anchovy brethren, our visitors that are going far. 